Hi everyone and welcome to today's practice. So this practice is very quick and it's super short. Ideally, this can be done as a quick kickstart for your day. So we are going to begin with a yin practice. Yin, for this practice in particular, we're not getting too much into the tissues. So it's just simply lightly moving that connective tissue, moving the fascia, especially if you are just getting out of bed and then moving into a yang practice. So it builds up that fiery energy to get your day started. So come on with me and grab your mat and we'll get moving. Coming down into a child's pose, either placing your knees as wide as your mat or bringing your knees to touch. As you exhale, gently bringing your forehead down onto your mat. So here it really all depends how child's pose feels to you. You can either have your arms out in front of you or have them right alongside your body like I am right here. Just slowly letting yourself come into your breathing. Maybe play along with your breath a little bit. So with every inhale, maybe drawing your breath up in between your shoulder blades, really expanding your shoulder blades, your rib cage to the side. And then with your exhale, drawing that breath back in towards its center. We're only here for maybe about 30 seconds more. So really bring yourself into this space, wherever it is that you find yourself, listening to the sounds around you without leaving your center. Being the beginning of the day, starting with your practice really lets you hone into your sense of being all that's important. As you inhale, slowly coming on to your knees, making some very gentle moves and placing your palms towards the top of your mat, Keeping your knees right underneath your hips. We're moving into a puppy pose. So once again, taking the variation that feels best for your body. Moving your tailbone as if you are a puppy, drawing it up towards the sky and with every exhale, begin to draw your chest down towards your mat. You're creating a slight back bend here. Now, if you have a block around you or maybe even a bolster, and you find that this is a bit too much for your lower back or even for your arms because you are engaging your arms just a little bit here, then you can place that bolster or block right underneath your chest or maybe underneath your forehead. The variation that I'm doing here, I have my chin on my mat. But I'm allowing myself to sink into my chest. I'm letting my muscles know that I've got this handled. We're all good. There's no need for them to jump in. And that's what I am aiming for you to do as well. Trying not to engage your muscles. Be slowly moving a little bit as we move into cat cow. So take another deep, long inhale. And with your exhale, very gently, begin to walk your palms underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes in. 
So just letting your body know that you will start to draw in those muscles with an exhale, moving into cat. As you inhale, drawing your chest forward and up, look up, belly drops. Exhale, pressing your palms down, curving your upper back, belly draws in. Inhale, into cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, slow movements. Exhale, cat. Just got a few more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one more time. Last one, exhale, cat. From here, walking your palms a little further forward as you inhale, slowly moving into downward facing dog. So just let yourself pedal it out here. Maybe rocking your hips from side to side, really bending deep into those knees, coming up onto your toes. Real nice and gooey here. Waking up your body. Relaxing those shoulder blades down onto your back with your next inhale, reaching your right leg up towards the sky, stepping it right alongside your right thumb. Spin and plant your back foot and with your next inhale, coming into a warrior two. Relaxing those shoulders onto your back, really lengthening out your arms as if you have this energy just kind of shooting through your fingertips. Being mindful of your shoulders, drawing those shoulders onto your back, letting that space between your ears and your shoulders just to let it be there. As you inhale, reach forward. With your next exhale, placing your right palm right alongside your right foot and slowly lifting your left arm up and forward. If you have a block, you can place your right palm over top of your block or bend into your right elbow and placing your forearm over top of your right thigh. Exhale, both of your palms come down, readjusting your feet. Inhale, reaching your arms all the way up above into a high crescent lunge. Option to place your left knee down so that you can move into a low crescent lunge. Exhale, palms come down. Walking your right foot towards the edge of your mat. Left knee comes down, moving into a low lizard. Reaching your chest forward, look forward. Another reminder to draw those shoulder blades in towards each other. What that does is simply allow for that nice long posture and that lengthening in your spine. Breathing here, look forward, avoid bringing your head down. Lifting your left knee off of your mat if you'd like to move into a high lizard. Slowly walking that right foot towards the center, inhale, lifting your right leg up above into a three-legged dog and placing your right foot down. We'll get that on the other side. With your next, and I'm playing with a bug on my mat right there. <laughs> Coming on to downward facing dog. Gently pedaling it out. Coming on to your toes. Slowly we'll begin to move into that left side. Feeling nice and gooey in your hips. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left foot steps forward. Spin and plant your right. Inhale, coming into a warrior two. Taking a quick look at that left knee and trying to place it so that it's right over top of your left ankle for it not to be buckling in. Feeling that strength, that stability in your lower body. 
nice and light in your upper body here looking forward inhale reach forward exhale slowly moving into a side angle so whatever option you took on the right let's get that on the left either keeping your left palm down in front of you or bending into your left elbow and placing your forearm over top of your left thigh with your next exhale both of your palms come down lifting that right heel over top of your toes inhale reaching your arms up above into a high crescent lunge once again if you'd like to take this into low crescent then place your right knee down onto your mat and hold breathing deeply here feeling nice and strong one more breath inhale as your exhale palms come down walking your left foot towards the outside edge of your mat and placing your right knee down if you haven't already into a low lizard look forward reaching your chest forward relaxing your shoulders down your back feeling that nice length happening along your right thigh look forward As usual, you do have the option of slowly lifting your right knee off of your mat, moving into a high lizard. So whatever option you wish to take, allow yourself to stay here breathing deeply. Palms, readjust, left foot, and exhale as you step forward. Look forward and fold, exhale fully. I invite you to bend into both of your knees. Resting your belly, resting your chest over top of your thighs. Inhale as you look forward, lengthening out your spine, straightening out your legs. Exhale as you fold forward. You can either keep your palms down on your mat or hugging your calves and letting your head just simply fall down to the ground. Just hold here breathing fully releasing your palms inhale look forward lengthening out your legs reaching that chest exhale fold forward bending deeply into both of your knees inhale reaching your arms up above into chair drawing your knees so that they're not going beyond your toes exhale as you fold forward do that and exhale come all the way down onto your back drawing your knees in towards your chest gently rock from side to side just massaging your lower back and that's about it you have completed your practice have a wonderful rest of your day if you enjoyed this practice be sure to subscribe to my channel i will be sharing all these different practices with you practices that i do myself and practices that I so passionately want to share with you all on a weekly basis.